All right, welcome everyone. We are back with my uh, E3 2015 continued coverage. We have come to our last press conference. This is the Square Enix press conference. This is uh, this is an interesting press conference. I'm going to have some um, some thoughts and reviews and impressions on this press conference after I cover what was said. This is Square Enix's first E3 press conference, so we kind of have to give them a little bit of a little bit of a pass. But um, I don't know. This was a um, this was a strange press conference. It was pretty good. It wasn't bad. It was strange, though. So, uh, let's get right into it. So, it started off with Just Cause 3. Awesome. I'm really looking forward to Just Cause 3. Um, they, are, they, quote unquote, they are making it the greatest game in the franchise. All new features and more what you love. So, that's good. Uh, world premiere gameplay was shown and the trailer was shown. A all new wingsuit for Rico. It is coming out, it got a release date, coming out December 1st. So, release dates are good. That's We want re release dates. So, that's what that was good. Um, looking good. The graphics are really good. Uh, I like the series. Just Cause is a good series. And uh, this looks to be an interesting title. I can't wait to get my hands on it. And I put here in parentheses, and I did this throughout the conference because it was weird. It, I put weird presentation. Um, sometimes they would just start talking, and, and you have to understand, everything is, is in translation with English. So, <laughs> guys started talking with a mask on. It was actually the Majora's Moon mask. He started talking uh, from Platinum Games about a new franchise called Nier. Um, just strange, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't know. And here's the thing with this press conference. Half the games you didn't even know what were was being shown... They would put the subtitles in Japanese and, and Chinese. They wouldn't put them in English until, like, way, way after the demo played. You didn't know what game was being shown. Half the games were in gibberish. Half the games were, like, in their real long, you know, form. Uh, you couldn't understand anything that anybody was saying. And it was a very, it was a very confusing press conference. I'm sure a lot of what they were showing was good. It, was, it just came off very confusing to me. Um, and something really strange that I'm going to actually talk about at the end of the press, at the end of my review here. But, um, yeah, so they talked about Nier, N-I-E-R, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider was shown. That probably was, for me, the highlight of this press conference. Uh, the creative director took the stage, talked about, um, Laura Croft, the detail in the game. They showed the Laura Croft face models. Looked absolutely incredible. I put on quotes here. In incredible. The dynamic lighting. Her eyes. The hair. Um, crazy, crazy, insane detail. They talked about mobile gaming. Of course, you got to have that in, nowadays in a press conference. Uh, they talked about Hitman Go, which was an excellent mobile game if you haven't played it. It's really good. Uh, and then they announced the next mobile game, which is Lara Croft Go. And I put in quotes, looks awesome. It is coming out on iOS and Android. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake was shown. More info in the future. Um, now, here's what's interesting. I was saying the other day when they were talking about this, um, and I said, you know what's weird? Is that they, they were talking, I, I guess last year, or no, or early this year, they were talking about a port that was coming to PS4, and I remember half the people were like, wow, awesome, and half of them were like, a lazy port? Like, where's the remake? Well, now the remake is announced, so I said to myself, I wonder what's going to happen with the port? Are they still going to come out with the port? You know, like, are they are they going to come out with the PC version on the PS4? I guess they are. It says here, port is coming to PS4, uh, and... Also, it's coming out to iOS in this. It's coming out iOS in the summer, so I didn't even know an iOS version was coming out. And PS4 in the winter, so strange. Another strange thing, but I guess it's a holdover till till the remake. But I would just hold off, you know. Like why why go th why get why get the port and play through the original port when you're gonna have an entirely remastered game next year, you know? That's that's my opinion, but if you I mean if you're a diehard fan, you're gonna play no matter what. Kingdom Hearts takes the stage finally, but they kind of trolled the people. When they first talked about Kingdom Hearts, they actually started talking about a mobile game, and I put blah and I put stink in quotes. 
Um, if you know, hey, they know they know the RPG fans out there want a mobile game. You know what I mean? But um, hey, if that's your kind of thing, I mean, hey, you take it on the go. If it's a good game, it's a good game. You know what I mean? But listen, we want to hear about Kingdom Hearts three. That's why people were at your press conference, and they did. They they did talk about it. Took the stage. They showed gameplay, and it's funny. I like the little quotations at the end of the trailer. Now in development. I I hope so. Thank you for uh, telling me that. I'm I'm glad it's now in development. And I put laugh out loud at the end. Uh, World of Final Fantasy. We 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 heard about this. At, um, I believe what was it at the um, at the PS4 press conference. They talked more about World of Final Fantasy. Uh, they showed more footage of it. And uh, they went right into the Hitman reboot that we also heard about earlier in E3, um, Agent 47. They showed a first peak world premiere of gameplay. Looked really good. Um, I'm a, I like Hitman, so <clears throat> I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Star Ocean was shown. It is coming to the PlayStation 4 in 2016. They showed a world exclusive gameplay trailer. It looked good. And then De Deus Ex, Mankind Divided, was talked about on stage. Uh, they showed in-game footage, and they quote, early 2016 it's coming out. So not an exact release date, but early 2016. So the first quarter. Uh, Final Fantasy app is coming this summer. I guess it's supposed to be like a hub for all things Final Fantasy. Um, and then it says one more thing. And it, what's interesting is, is that, if you if you if I had to make a bet on what this was just by saying one more thing, I would have bet a million dollars on something, but I actually wound up not being it. Um, they're actually working on a new RPG project, and I put blah blah blah. Where the heck is Final Fantasy 15? Where are you? You know? Okay, we know you're coming this year, but no, like maybe if like five minutes of new footage or something or new gameplay footage or get people pumped for your game i mean i mean when i saw that square enix was having a press conference i thought it was to show off final fantasy 15 strange but that's what i'm saying like it was a good press conference but it was strange i mean i know it's their first press conference and i guess maybe they're trying different things out i just think that there was different ways that they should have went about it and approached it you know, it was a confusing conference, but yeah, hmm, maybe not one of my favorite ones of E3. But um, you know, and I people will say, oh, you know, you're a Nintendo fanboy. You know, you're praising the direct. The direct was the worst. Listen, that's Nintendo style. Nintendo did what they always did. This just came out of nowhere. <clears throat> I found it interesting that they even had a press conference, but. I mean, it's it's good. You know, if you have a press conference and you really dedicate it to your games, that's a great thing. I just thought it should have been different. I think if they have another press conference next E3, which I'm sure they will, I, I think it'll be better. Um, this, to me, seemed like an experiment, really. But then again, you look at Bethesda. They had a fantastic first press conference. They, they, they don't have to improve on nothing. I thought their out-of-the-gate press conference was really good. Uh, so Square Enix should learn a thing or two because um, it could have been a lot better. But um, I don't know. Maybe they wanted to talk about things that we really didn't know too much about, and they figure Final Fantasy 15 has been talked about a lot, and it's coming out. So why why go there again? I uh, I don't know about that theory. You know, you wanted people to get hyped, especially before your game comes out. I thought they might might have showed something or introduced something new to the game that we didn't know before. But I guess not. Well, listen. That wraps up my E3 coverage as far as the press conferences go. I might have a recap video at the end of E3. My favorite highlights. What I didn't like. Who won E3. My opinions. What to expect. Uh, will be coming soon. But from now to the next few days, I'm just going to sit back and watch the stage demos of the games being shown. So, um... Thank you for joining me again. Thank you for taking the time to sit through these videos and watch them. Um, I hope they were helpful to you. I hope they were useful. I hope that if um, you know you have a busy schedule and you don't have time to sit through hours and hours of press, press conferences, you could watch my videos and just get the scoop and find out what the highlights were and how you know what was important and what you should take from each uh, press conference. I hope that these were informative to you. 
uh, pass them around, spread the word, and um, thank you for joining and viewing the channel. And please subscribe if you haven't already. I have lots coming in the next few months. Take care, everybody, and have a fun E3. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.